here. This is like an eight hundred thousand dollar ring right here. Like, you got a house on my pinky. <laughs> Put the house on me. Yeah. Yo, Chrissy, what's going on, baby? How you doing? I'm stealing his ring. In real life. First, In real life. First Ray, uh, Raekwon, now Chrissy's stealing the ring. I just jacked ring. Jack. In real life. <laughs> Too easy. Hi, this is Chrissy Monroe, and you're watching ThisIs50.com. And these is my titties. These are the twins. These are the toddlers. These are Jack's titties. Ha <laughs> ha. Chink has been living in D.C. for like the last year that we've been dating. He's officially moving to NYC to be with moi. This is, I feel like, the beginning of a new life for both of us. Mm -hmm. I'm really ready to start a family. And I feel like that's holding me back that you're still legally married to another woman. I don't know. Me and Chrissy relationship usually real cool. But her hitting me with this is crazy. I ain't about to let nobody rush me into nothing like that. How you doing today, baby? Good, good. How are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, man. Yo, how was this past season of Love & Hip Hop for you? Did you enjoy yourself? Oh, did I? It's been a lot of fun, man. It's the, like the best job in the world. Like, fabulous. I've been following you on Instagram. Can you marry me, Jay? Yeah. Okay. You, you got it now and shit, so you know what? I need a baby father. I can do that. I really like the raw dog. This girl. You like black guys and stuff too, so you What know. you think? Yeah. I'm I built. See. I'm a black man's fantasy. Yes, you built for a tough girl. Yes. Drive am. hard. Thick, thick, thick. <laughs> Tell me what's your background? Where you come from? Well, um well, I was born in Baltimore, but my ethnicity, my ethnic background is Italian, Sicilian. Okay, because mm -hmm. it was a lot of people in the office wanted to know exactly what you I get a lot of things. It depends on the hair color. When I'm blonde, I get German or Russian, but when my hair is dark, I get Latina, I get biracial, African American. Mm -hmm. I get all kind of uh, different guesses, but I'm Italian, 100% Italian. Do you speak any other languages? Poquito Espanol, papi, ay. Oh, okay. Grammy huevo, <laughs> Hold on, she Face. said poquito, then she said a little bit. Beso mi chocha. Oh. It's like, I'm kidding, I'm joking, I'm filthy. I know all the dirty shit. All the nasty uh, stuff. Filth. My type of girl. Filth, filth. <laughs> okay, with that being said, what's your favorite position? Definitely doggy style. Definitely. Well, you know why? It just goes in deeper. Like, you can really feel it, like, up in the damn, in from your guts, like. Yes, yeah, like, mmm, mmm. If your life was a movie, what would it be called? Woo! Uh, hmm. Well, I don't know what it would be called, but it would be definitely part Goodfellas, part <laughs> Scarface, part Blow. I don't know what it would be called. It would just be called. Happy to be here. I don't know. Wow, yeah, wow. I've been through a lot. You know, when I was younger and coming up in the street, I was homeless as a teenager in Baltimore City. I had nothing. So I thought getting those material things was the end all be all. And that was what was going to make me a success in my life. Mm. But then when I got those material things, I realized I still wasn't happy. So now me giving back is major. Um, mm. I do a lot of work with teenage girls and stuff that are trying to get into the adult industry. Um, you know, out here hustling, dealing with hustlers and stuff and, and show them that's really not the way to go. There's no future. You know, um, I was in the game for 20 years. Um, and you used to sell dope? I did a lot of things in Baltimore. I was I was in Baltimore in the streets in the heyday, the, the late 80s, early 90s. Mm -hmm. um, you know, my ex-boyfriend from, he was from New York, a Dominican guy. Mm -hmm. He had gotten killed when I was 27. Yeah, damn. I was with him from 17 to 27. So, you know, we had a lot of major things going mm -hmm. on in the heyday. You was with him deal. when he got killed? No, well, I was with him the day of, he went out that night by the grace of God. Um, I was not with him that night. Um, I had owned an escort service at the time and a call came in by BWI Airport from one of the regular girls and her car had broken down. See how amazing God is? Mm -hmm. And I had to give her a ride and he went out to meet the dude and they found him over by Morgan State dead, hanging out of the car. So I felt like I had a second chance at life and, and I was 27 and I really didn't want to be in Baltimore alone anymore. That's when I moved to New York. I knew two people. I started my whole life over at the age of 29. I started working at Sue's Rendezvous as a dancer, made all new connections, made new friends, and um, the rest is history. Chinks. Hi. Yeah, like what's going on with y'all right now? Nothing. Are y'all together? No, not at all. No, what was um, the last straw? The last straw was last week, ladies and gentlemen, when Chink was on Instagram with a known escort from the Bay Area hugged up in a motel room in Virginia. I know y'all seen it on my Instagram. I mean, it hurt my heart. You know, but what can you do? That just added insult to injury. So to answer your question, Jack, where are we? We're nowhere. We can never even be friends because I feel like this man took two years of my life leading me on with the, the empty promises, blah, 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 just to be doing that dumb shit. Mm. As much as he said he hated strippers and hoes and this and that. And when, did you see the episode with my magazine for I Adore? Mm. 
Oh, that's booty model shit. I hate booty models and blah, blah, blah. Well, you know, nobody wants a booty model for their actual girl, girl. Yeah, but then you, you hung up with an escort in the motherfucking Yeah, hotel. but that's a little different. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they, they, we, we like it for fun, but not in real life. Yeah, so. Because I'm like that. Yeah. I, I love booty models. I think that yeah. they are very fun people. Booty models are the bomb. Yeah. I mean, I'm an ex stripper. But Ain't just no to be him. like for, for every day. She never stops twerking all day. All night. I mean, what the hell are you talking about, man? This ain't nothing but a worker art right here. I'm sick of it, though, man. It's 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 embarrassing. I mean, this is straight beauty, man. Look at her. Look at her. Drop, drop. Yeah, but let's talk about the reunion, man. So, uh, on the reunion, Eric Camino wasn't there. Now, what is the 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 the, uh, the origin of you guys' beef, and why did you feel the need to expose him? All right, we got a couple minutes here? I guess we do. I we really don't time. even like wasting my time on this trash. I call her oyster twat because one time, well, oyster panties. Oh, oyster panties. Because one time when she was staying at my house, she left the thong at my house. I seen it on the floor the next day. It looked like an oyster was in the crotch. Like, like somebody hocked a loogie in the thong. <laughs> like, she was just having an off day. It happens. I mean, I had to go in my kitchen and get a, a, some some of them salad tongs to pick that bitch up and put it in the trash. That shit probably could have walked to the trash on its own. Ladies, <laughs> have you ever had one of these days <laughs> inside your whole career having a pussy? Uh, yes or no? Come on, Honestly. feminine hygiene. That's what they make Summer's Eve for. Y'all need to start buying that. Let me saw, uh, Vagisil wash, whatever the fuck it is. Use that shit. Clean your pussy. But hey, Bow Wow's with her now, and so I'm, Bow Wow wouldn't put up with no stanky pussy now. Well, I don't know. You know, he really downgraded. That I, that Aisha Diaz he used to be with was bad. That's a bad bitch. She's cute to me. Mm -hmm. Why would he downgrade from a bad bitch to this, this bitch been ran through? She might have had the uh, oyster pussy too. And maybe. Maybe. I mean. <laughs> yeah, we, we, you just never know. He seems and like And he didn't nice had bad bitches all his life. And yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you know? she put that, that Santeria shit, whatever, that Spanish and shit. You know, you know um, Erica Mina's popping now. No, like, she she's um, made a name for herself off this show in the past couple of years. But not name doing what, though? Being on the show. Okay, but she can't sing. What does she do? You asked, answer me. What she's does a personality. She do? Mm, I beg to differ. She doesn't sing, and when she tried, the shit flopped. It was disgusting. She used to model. She was just model. playing. No, she was not. She was really dead ass. She can't, bitch can't dance. She was just playing. <laughs> she was just playing. Model, well, who do you model for? Who's she model for? She was in 50 videos. She was on uh, Candy okay. Shop. What have you she done lately? She was in uh, the Chris Brown shit. You only as good as your last shit, but what, what has she done lately? Well, there was, <laughs> and then there was Scott. <laughs> But Thank hold on, you. but what about that? Because you she, all don't even like talking She was on 106 and Park. She hosted with Bow Wow. And they, they canceled the show. Damn, and they ain't no coincidence. They was just playing. They was just playing, exactly. And you know, honestly, Jack, I don't even like to give that much energy to this bitch. But you know, she really tried to shit on me at the reunion. Which shows- But you try to shit on her, like, in the nah, misery. Nah, no, like, that's you told... just the truth. What is done in the dark shall come to the light. So she, she used to work for you as an escort for yes, real, for did. real. Yeah, yes, she did. Selling um, pussy. Listen, 